there's no question, photography is everywhere. Every ad, every social media page, on your smartphone, and on billboards reaching up to the sky. Photos dominate our visual lives. But who's taking these photos? And whose point of view do they reflect? At the Grady's Alexis Gallery in New York City? There's only one answer. Women. And we're getting a close-up look. Come on. Here at El Taller Latino Americano, they're celebrating Women's History Month with an opening reception for women inspired, innovation, and imagination. It's a diverse showcase of the work of 21 members of Professional Women Photographers, or PWP, here in New York City. PWP is a not-for-profit dedicated to promoting public interest in photography and to supporting the work of women photographers through education, exhibitions, and scholarships. Since its inception in 1975, the organization's grown to around 200 members whose photos have appeared in respected galleries and publications around the world. Why do you think it's important to have an organization like PWP? For the support that women can give each other, the empowerment, we face common issues and we all understand. Have you seen any changes in the arts or in photography over the years since you've been involved with PWP? There's more women photographers now than there were before. Can you tell me a little bit about the pieces that you're exhibiting today? Yes, um, they're both printed on metallic paper and it was women in costumes at an event at Manhattan's oldest house, the Mars Jamel Mansion. My work always has something to do with the past, with a connection to history, so that's very appropriate for these two pieces. Can you tell me some of the highlights of your photography career? Sure, I was in the Tate Modern in London for a slideshow exhibition there on street and studio photography. I've had work in the Brooklyn Museum, the Queens Museum, and the Bronx Museum. Whoa. Yeah. What advice would you give young women, or anyone for that matter, who wants to become a professional photographer? Just get out there and shoot. You know, to have your camera with you at all times because you never know what you're going to see. And while you're developing your eye, you may not know. All right, now just for fun, since it's Women's History Month, who's your favorite female historical figure, your favorite woman in history, and how would you take her picture? I would have to say it's Madame Eliza Jamel. She was quite ahead of her time in many ways. We have only a painting of her, a portrait, and she's one of those women I would love, you know, sit down, have dinner with, and then take her portrait and find out her story from her point of view. So there aren't just women photographers here today, there are also women models. Emily, can you tell me about this photo? Well, this was an event up at the Morris Jumel Mansion in Washington Heights, and we were dressing in historic dress to tell the story of Eliza Jumel. How do you feel about this entire show, Women Inspired? I absolutely love it. I love the huge variety of photographs in the exhibit. Women Inspired is such an amazing category because you can see all these different historical and cultural images. I'm really enjoying it. Curated by award-winning artist Andrea Arroyo, Women Inspired is the latest in her series of yearly art exhibitions that celebrate female artists here at El Taller's Grady Alexis Gallery. Well, I wanted to do a show specifically with photographers because I wanted to include what I call a vision. You know, as artists, they have you know, a very distinct vision. It was the first time I showcased exclusively photography, so I'm very excited. How do you pick the work for your shows or the artists for your shows? Well, I'm always looking for new artists. I always have my eyes open, and I look for mostly someone who's original, who has a very distinctive voice, and also high-quality work, and has a you know, very, very strong passion about what they do. So are there any unusual or favorite pieces that we should look out for? I love them all. I think <laughs> the most important thing is to have all of these artists together in one show as a cohesive, you know, amazing, uh, talented group of artists. Now, I've already taken a walk around and I've read the reviews. I hear that there's not just photography here but also kind of mixed media photography. Can you tell me about that? Well, it's all photo-based work and some of it is straight photography, film, digital, but some of it includes also digital collage and some other processes as well. So it's not traditional photography, it includes other things as well. Now, fun question. Who is your favorite woman in history and how would you paint her? Oh my, <laughs> that's a tough one. Okay, I want to say Malinche from Mexican history. She was alive at the time of the conquest when Hernán Cortés came into Mexico. She was his uh, lover and his uh, interpreter. She used her strength and her voice, literally her voice, to survive a time of war and genocide in Mexico. That's pretty cool, Malinche. I have learned something new today. Thank you, Andrea. 
Each of these photos commemorates and reflects a woman's point of view, her life, relationships, struggles, achievements, dreams, and body. Carol, how did you get involved with PWP? I actually became involved with a friend of mine, Trish Mayo. Um, she was already part of the organization, and she asked me if I wanted to join as well. And I said, sure, because I wanted to join an organization that really was women helping women get recognized in the profession. Have you seen any changes in your career since you've joined? You know what, this is my first year, um, but it is my first exhibition in a New York City gallery, so I think that's a good change in a good direction. I would definitely <laughs> say so. And um, can you tell me a little bit about the piece that you've entered in the show? I actually took a photograph of Trish at an event and she doesn't like being in photographs herself she likes taking the photographs so she um, put her fan up and I got a great silhouette of her behind the fan so I entitled it a lady of mystery I see but now we all know and the mystery is no longer I know so now you just have to find Trish at the mansion <laughs> so what would you hope people would take away from the show women inspired I think, well, the importance is Women's History Month, so the importance of women as photographers and also the diversity of photography. Maybe they think of women taking photographs or just flowers or just sort of America sought mother and child. So there's so many diverse subject matters that they can do. Who's your favorite woman in history and how would you take her photo? Wow, that is a tough question. So one of my favorite women in history is Christina Rossetti. Um, she was the sister of Dante Gabrielle Rossetti, a famous British painter in the 19th century. But she was a painter, a photographer, and a poet in her own right. They really were interested in Shakespearean plays, so I would probably dress her up as some Shakespearean heroine and take her photograph that way. No, I think she'd like that. <laughs> Excuse me, Leah, is this you? Yes, this is me. <laughs> How did this photo come about? Uh, well, I was portraying a real person in history, Aaliyah Walker. She was Madam C.J. Walker's daughter. Now, were you cast because your name is so similar? Um, no, it's just because I was an intern hanging around <laughs> and I wanted to do it, yeah. Wait, so this is advice for aspiring models everywhere, be an intern hanging around. Yes, that's obviously what you need to do. And what do you think of this entire show, Women Inspired? I think it's really cool. I've never been to anything like this. This is my first time being at like a real gallery experience, so it's really cool. I really love it. Women Inspired is one of the many cultural events that happen regularly at El Taller Latinoamericano, a community-based nonprofit bridging the gap between Latin Americans and North Americans through education, art, dance, and music. So Bernardo, you are the founder and the artistic director of El Taller. Can you give me a little bit of the history of El Taller Latinoamericano? It's too long. <laughs> <laughs> we started in 1979. 1979 was time of military governments, almost all over Latin America. So there were painters, there were musicians that didn't have a space to show their work. And in our idea, because we are Latinos from New York, it was important also that the people who speak English will participate. So from the beginning, the idea of El Taller is not El Taller Latino. El Taller Latino, Dutch, Americano. Tell me about what's been going on those, these last few years. I know every Women's History Month, you guys have been having an exhibit here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have celebrated uh, Women's, uh, the March month and the 8th Women's uh, Day right here for many years. We have celebrated everything that is uh, helping people to know people better and respect people each other, no matter how diverse and different they are. Anything that is creative and in the spirit of dialogue, we accept. Already featured in publications such as the New York Daily News and the New York Times, Women Inspired is on display now through April 30th. So if you're in the New York City area, head on up to Broadway and 104th and check out the show. See you guys next time.